me. Hey there, everyone. Steve Olenueva here. A big travel day. If anyone's heading up towards the Northeast or the New York City area, here's the deal. They did pick up some good rainfall this morning, but the rain there has now come to an end. However, we'll still have a lot of clouds around. Temperatures in the upper 50s, but tonight, temperatures dropping down into the 30s. Elsewhere, Boston still seeing some wet weather. Temperatures in the low 50s. Atlanta, lots of clouds at 54. Chicago and Dallas, however, seeing plenty of sunshine. So here's Vipercast for Boston. You can see the wet weather continues to hang out with some snow where it's colder into northern Maine. But all of this pulls away as we head into tonight and tomorrow. High pressure builds in and the northeast is going to look great with lots of sunshine, but definitely cool and breezy. Closer to home, we're watching this front right here. South of the front, we're going to have a south wind and that's going to warm us up into the middle 80s today. Roughly five to seven degrees above average for this time of year. But overnight tonight a front comes through may bring us a spotty rain shower but tomorrow the fronts to the south will have lots of clouds around and with a northerly flow our temperatures will drop down to where they should be for this time of year in the upper 70s so tomorrow is a seasonal day as far as your temperatures go but we will do see but we will see lots of clouds around However, we're dry, other than just a spotty shower in the morning. Now, as we head towards the weekend, we do have a better chance of picking up some wet weather Friday into Saturday. And then by Sunday, the moisture that does come in from the Gulf starts to kick on out towards the Atlantic. Out of the Atlantic, we are watching this area of disturbed weather right here. The Hurricane Center giving it a slim chance that it develops into a tropical system. Hurricane season ends at the end of this month, and we're really not expecting much out of that one. Certainly not going to affect us here in South Florida. Today, it's a warm one, heading up to 85 degrees. We'll see partly sunny skies. Tonight, clouds on the increase as the front approaches. Maybe a couple of rain showers here or there. We have about a 20% chance of that. Otherwise, temperatures dropping into the 60s. If you're going boating, a small craft caution is in effect. Seas today, two to three feet. Inland waters will have a light chop, and there are your high and your low tide times. First alert, seven-day forecast, 85 for today. Increasing clouds tomorrow, mainly cloudy, cooler at 79. Friday, Saturday could pick up a shower here or there, maybe a storm. And